celebrate first frost. <laughs> oh, this has to be my most favorite season of the year. Okay now, let's make this whole place sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, looks like we have some very cold weather moving in. Here, let me help. We'll get it done faster if we work together. Like oh, some sort of gold box. I wonder what's in this. <laughs> Sorry. There's a book in here. The one we used to read for First Frost. <laughs> yes, here it is. It tells all about the first winter in Berry Bitty City. I bet everybody would love to hear it again. I'll read it here in the cafe and invite everyone in Berry Bitty City. Come on, you two can help. It's very beautiful. So original. So one of a kind. Well, thanks. I've been putting my whole heart into this entire collection. <laughs> you outdo yourself every year, Raspberry. I just feel, what's the point of doing something unless it's the best? So, I'm not stopping till I get it totally, completely, absolutely right. Like you said, I really want to make something original, one of a kind, never been seen before. Well, come on, Custard and Pupcake. We better let Raspberry work. Oh, I'm having a reading tonight at the cafe. I'd really like it if you could come. Huh? Oh, oh yes, of course. Mm -hmm. I'll be there. Pupcake. <laughs> see any evidence of a monster. <laughs> Sounds like... Dogs? Be reasonable now. That was my last biscuit. Dogs... and... A boy? <gasps> Hello? Oh! Excuse me. No, excuse me. Uh, who... Well, where'd you come from? Very Bitty City. I'm Strawberry Shortcake. I live there with my friends. Oh, hi there. I'm Huckleberry Pie. Hello, I'm Orange. Hi, I'm Cherry. Hello, Huckleberry. I'm Blueberry. Ed. <laughs> I'm Earl. Where are you headed? Not anywhere now. I'm kind of stuck. Hmm. Not for long, you aren't. <laughs> Guests behave. 
<laughs> You're so lucky to have so many pets. Oh, Lemon, they aren't mine. Whose are they? Well, uh, nobody's. <gasps> so you've been driving from town to town in Huck's Pupmobile getting dogs adopted. Yeah, I started with 25. I'm taking these, uh, leftover guys to Berry Big City to start Huckleberry's Home for Pets. Aww. That is quite admirable. Eh, uh, Mr. Huckleberry? Eh, uh -huh. uh, Mr. Huckleberry, you're good to go. All fixed up. Thank you so much. And thank you, Strawberry, Cherry, and your friends, too. Hmm. Well, I'd better head out. But it's late. You might get lost again in the dark. You can stay upstairs here, and I'll stay in my other room above my cafe. Well, that's really nice of you, Strawberry. I'll wake him up! <laughs> um, I don't think that's such a good idea. Hello! Wake up, Froggy! Considerate, but I think maybe you've been trying to be so kind and considerate to Tad that you've forgotten about everyone else. But you guys are my friends, my very best friends. I could never forget you. What I mean is, Tad has caused a bit of trouble and... But he doesn't know any better. Exactly. I think being responsible for a pet means taking responsibility for any trouble he causes because the pet really doesn't know any better. I know. I need to do a better job of being responsible for Tad. I'm doing everything I can think of. I, I don't know what else to do. Well, maybe the best way to care for Tad is to not care for Tad. What do you mean? Orange, I just don't know if Tad belongs here. Oh, <gasps> Strawberry, please give him I mean, me, another chance. I promise he'll never be any trouble to anyone in Berry Beauty City again. But how? You'll see. I'll, I'll train him. You said even though we're bitty, we're capable of big things. And I know I can do this. I won't turn my back on my responsibility to Tad. Well... I've never seen it so neat and tidy in here before. I wanted to do something nice to make it up to you for Tad eating the fashions. Thank you, Orange. <laughs> really? It's all mine? I promise Tad will never bother your classes again. Thank you, Orange. I'm hoping the Berrykins will accept some frog rides to make up for all the trouble we caused. Oh, well... <laughs> Not having much fun, huh, big guy? Yeah. Oh, hi, Strawberry. Hi, Orange. I came to tell you everyone is so pleased about how you apologized for Tad's troubles. <laughs> Everything is back to normal in Berry Bitty City. Oh, that's good. I know it's been difficult, but I know if it meant doing the right thing for Tad, 
You could do something even more difficult. Of course! I'd do anything for Tad. What is it that's more difficult than all the things I've done so far? I mean, those were big things. What's bigger than that? Letting him go. Oh, Strawberry. Sometimes the very biggest things we have to do are the things we can't even see. 